What I'd like to do for you today is to take you through a typical scenario of a firm with multiple offices and show you what riverbed technology can do in that configuration. So I'm going to take you through three sets of riverbed products. First, we're going to address data consolidation utilizing riverbed's WAN accelerators. Once the data is consolidated back to the data center, now we can look at utilizing Riverbed's Whitewater appliance to push a copy of our data up to the cloud. So we're replacing our existing tape backup system and utilizing the cloud for disaster recovery. The third product I want to take you through this uh, in this presentation is Riverbed Granite. So for customers who are concerned about the what if, what if our WAN goes down? We have users out in the branch offices who no longer can get to their data because we have consolidated that data back to the data center. Riverbed Granite is a solution in that scenario. <clears throat> so first, just a very brief background as to the problem in wide area networking. Now, most of us assume that when we try to store our data at a data center and have our remote users access that data that if we have enough bandwidth this will go very fast but as you can see simulated by that red dot moving across the screen what we found was that just is not the case wide area networking is a completely different process than just simply uh, streaming the internet so when we're at home and we went from a, a dial-up modem to a cable connection, we saw our internet speeds increase dramatically. Here in wide area networking, bandwidth speaks more to capacity than it does necessarily speed. So graphically how this works, when a remote user accesses any information from a data center across whatever connection you might have, that file gets broken down into individual packets and sent one at a time. The server can't send the next packet of information until it receives acknowledgement from the branch office user. Hey, I've got that packet. Go ahead and send me the next one. These packets are sent in sequential order, and then once the, the whole file is delivered, then it can be opened by that branch office user. The further apart the offices, the higher the latency, which is what this process is, that series of acts and acts across your network. Uh, so the further apart the offices, the higher the latency, the longer this will take. Bandwidth won't necessarily fix this problem. It's an issue of wide area networking. So when we deploy Riverbed's WAN accelerators, we deploy them on each side of the connection. If you have multiple remote offices, you don't need to install a steelhead at every office right from the get-go. This, the optimization occurs only between two steelhead appliances. So if you have an office up here that doesn't have a steelhead, they have what they have today. The offices with steelhead appliances will see the optimization. Of course, you'll always need an appliance at the data center side. These appliances do three things to the data. The first thing that they do is we apply some compression. So in, instead of being limited to that very small packet with each round trip, we can deliver up to a full one meg payload. So we're reducing the number of round trips required to deliver that file to the end user. The big thing that these do is a process called scalable data referencing, deduplication. So after data flows across that connection, the steelhead appliances are looking at the binary information in that data, the ones and zeros, and we're replacing that information with pointers and we're storing those pointers on these steelhead appliances so we're not keeping a copy of your data over here at the remote side we're keeping pointers that we know to to represent your data on these steelhead appliances so if somebody walks off with a steelhead appliance they're not walking off with your data they're walking off with useless pointers that they can do nothing with what happens here though is because we're utilizing those pointers the data will get very skinny as it goes across that connection based on the pointers that are that are on this steelhead appliance over here we recreate that data and we deliver it on the high speed LAN segment to the branch office user you'll see between 60 and 95 percent reduction 
and the amount of physical traffic that has to go across that connection in order to deliver your file to the branch user. The third thing we do is transaction prediction. We assume that when you click on a file, you're going to want the whole file. So we're going to grab that file, apply our compression, apply our scalable data referencing, get it over to this side of the uh, connection as quickly as possible so that when the branch office user gets that acknowledgement back from the server, hey, I see you clicked on this file, what do you want? Well, I want that file. That file is already going to reside here, and again, we can deliver that on the high-speed LAN segment. So here is a typical infrastructure for a multi-office firm. We'll have our, our data center, our corporate office here. This SMC is the Steelhead mobile controller. So for individual users like me who may be traveling or may work from a home office or uh, perhaps I'm out in the field, uh, I can get the same kind of optimization as someone sitting in a remote office behind a Steelhead appliance if I use Steelhead Mobile. This is kind of Steelhead for one. And this is what I'll use now to show you uh, what kind of speeds we're talking about here. Uh, you may hear people talk about near LAN speed. We're never going to be as fast as we are here on the LAN, but we want to be as, as close to that out here for these WAN users as we can possibly be. So in this scenario, we've got two remote offices. We've got uh, a traveling user like myself that's going to utilize Steelhead Mobile. And then, of course, we have the Steelhead device at the data center along with the Steelhead Mobile controller, which just simply hands out those licenses. We make no changes to your LAN users. We're essentially taking your existing LAN-based workflow, and we're extending that out to your WAN users. So as a demonstration, let me show you an AutoCAD file. And what I'm going to do is just uh, go here and I'm going to open about a 9.5 meg AutoCAD file. And I'm going to open that across a VPN connection. This server is approximately 90 miles away from where I'm sitting today. And I'm going to open this file here. I'll show you the properties. 9.5 meg AutoCAD file. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. I'm not going to time this for you. You'll just kind of see the speed that we're talking about. So I'm going over a VPN connection and that file is here. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And I want to open that exact same file but from a local server that's here in my office. So instead of going to that I drive, I'm going to go to the L drive grab this file, same file, click open. And if you time this, you would probably see about a second difference. That's what we're talking about when we say near LAN speed. Let me close that. And let me just show you one additional uh, file type. Let's just uh, go back to my network drive here. And let's open this uh, PDF. Let's see the properties there. 25.6 meg PDF file and let's just double click it. So again this was over the VPN you see that that file is here we're accelerating with Riverbed I'm going to go ahead and close this entirely and now let's go to my local server and again we'll grab that Word document the PDF I'm sorry and you see that that's here. So you can see what we mean by near LAN speed. We'll never be as, as fast as the LAN, but I want to be as close to that as I possibly can. That's utilizing uh, Riverbed's uh, Steelhead appliances. Let me just show you this client, Steelhead Mobile. I leave this running on my laptop all the time. You see the total reduction is 95%, meaning 95% of the data that I've accessed has not had to traverse the network because it already exists uh, utilizing those pointers. So there's a lot of repetitive information that we're consistently opening regardless of file. Uh, the information is the same, especially in CAD documents. We use a lot of repetitive information. So Steelhead Mobile is the solution for an individual user like me to get the same kind of performance that someone sitting in the office behind a Steelhead appliance would get. So now that we've demonstrated uh, the effect of consolidation of our data back to the data center, 
without negatively affecting performance for those remote office users, now we can start looking at our tape backup process. So what we want to do now is look at Riverbed's Whitewater appliance. So you've got several options uh, for how you back up today. Most uh, customers or companies will use uh, tape infrastructure. Some will use a disk on the other side of a connection to replicate the information from one office to the next in the event uh, you have a disaster. And then the, the last option here, what we've seen grow in popularity over the last couple of years, is utilizing the cloud. And so we're going to show you how you can utilize Riverbed's Whitewater uh, to push a copy of your data up to the cloud and replace your existing tape backup. So just graphically, this is very elementary, but to just show graphically how we're utilizing backup today, <clears throat> you may be doing this at your remote offices as well as the data center if you've not consolidated your data. But what happens is your data is stored, of course, on local servers. You're utilizing popular tape backup software. The ones that we see the most are Backup Exec or ArcServe. And then you're taking those tapes and you're moving those off-site. Uh, maybe you use a service like Iron Mountain or you, you may just have uh, somebody take the tapes home. However you get them off-site, the point is you have a local tape backup and you've got your uh, tapes that you're taking off-site in order for security if you have to restore anything from tape. This is one thing that many of us have never done um, as a test is to find out how long it would take us to restore all of our data from tape in the event we had a disaster. But tomorrow's backup with Whitewater will look very close to the same. Our data is consolidated now back to our data center. We're replacing our existing tape uh, drive but we're utilizing the same tape software. We replace that tape drive with a whitewater appliance. We're getting up to 30 days of backups stored here on this whitewater appliance. And since you're familiar with Riverbed's scalable data referencing from the earlier part of the presentation, you're going to get the same benefit uh, from whitewater. Whitewater uses that same Riverbed SDR process so we're reducing the amount of physical data that you have through the SDR and we're pushing a copy of that up to the cloud. So a typical scenario would be you'll see about a 50% reduction in the amount of data, say you have four terabytes of information. You may only have to push two terabytes up to the cloud which represents all four terabytes of your data. So replacing that tape backup with a whitewater appliance keeping 30 days of backup local in the event that a server mounts you can do a restore from the local whitewater share uh, but then simultaneously in the background pushing a copy of your data up to the cloud. So kind of graphically how this works our data then is stored here uh, locally on that whitewater appliance we're providing that scalable data referencing so we're reducing the amount of data that physically has to be stored here and then we're, we're encrypting it, securing it, pushing a copy of that up to your cloud provider. In the event that we have to pull that information back, because we've reduced the amount of information, you're going to see a faster restore. The data will come back. Uh, we'll take that data into the Whitewater appliance. We'll recreate that data based on those pointers and now we can deliver that information back to the administrator all seamlessly through an existing tape backup software process that you use today. In the event that some data that you need is not here on the local share, this happens a lot in the engineering world where someone might come and say, hey, I need a file from six months ago. Well, utilizing your same tape backup software, the Whitewater appliance will first look here, see if it's local. If it is, it'll grab it. If it's not, it'll go to the cloud, find the data that you need, pull that data back, recreate the data based on those pointers again, and then deliver the files to the administrator here in your office. Seamless process. So now that we've addressed uh, both 
data acceleration with steelhead riverbed steelhead appliances we've consolidated the data back to the data center we have replaced your tape backup process we're utilizing the cloud with uh, riverbeds whitewater and we're utilizing the cloud for disaster recovery now what happens if typically the next question that people will ask when we're talking about data consolidation is what happens if my WAN goes down my users on the remote side aren't going to be able to work because I've taken their data away from them. We want to show you how utilizing Riverbed Granite can resolve that issue. So here you have a couple of remote offices. Uh, before consolidation you have their data stored on local servers out here at each remote office. You want that data close to those users so that uh, generally for speed purposes because as we saw in that first slide trying to access the data across that network connection the WAN connection without riverbeds acceleration was just simply too slow so we're going to implement the steelhead appliances at each office we're going to take the data back from the remote offices and store it here at the data center now a lot of times you'll have servers out there already and the servers uh, they can still serve a purpose for the remote offices. You can set up Windows Server, you can authenticate to the network, you can have some local services out there at the edge where it makes sense, taking additional traffic off that connection. Well with the Steelhead appliances, the EX series, these come with a license of VMware as well as the Granite Edge license. So what we can do now is deploy Granite Core we need a core box here at the data center that's going to manage all of this data for us. But we can now take those servers and virtualize those servers on the Steelhead appliances themselves. So utilizing your license of Windows Server, we have a partition available on these Steelhead appliances where we can create a virtual server and you'll have the benefit of having a server out here at the remote office without the, the physical cost of maintaining hardware out here at the remote offices. And in addition, you'll have the Granite Edge license as well here on the Steelhead box. So basically what the Granite Core will do is it will allow us to pin a LUN of data for each of our remote offices. Now you will determine how big that amount of data is. The more data you have, obviously the larger license you'll need for Granite Edge. So if you want to keep all of their data out here at the remote office, you can do so with a larger appliance or you can choose to just pin the project data LUN out here for these remote offices. So the users will be accessing their data from this local uh, Granite share and then in the background the Granite Edge box speaks to the Granite Core to ensure that all of the data that's being accessed out here is being replicated back through Granite Core and is all being stored here. So we've not taken away consolidation. We're consolidating the data. We're having Granite Core manage that data and pushing the remote offices project data back out to the local Granite share to allow for that scenario of what if. If this line goes down, those users are accessing their data locally. So when the line comes back up, the Granite Edge will recommunicate with Granite Core, synchronize all of the data back here to the data center. So you have, again, one copy of the data that you're managing here at the data center. All of what I've just shown you is available under a proof of concept. You can see everything work uh, before you make the decision to purchase anything. So if you're ready to get started, my contact information is here. I look forward to speaking with you and demonstrating for you on your network how Riverbed's uh, WAN acceleration products, the Steelhead products, how the Whitewater products can help you with disaster recovery to the cloud, and how Granite can help you resolve that issue of what happens if. I appreciate the time. Thank you.